It's a uh, this pandemic. We used to have uh, a contract to a like a um, chef to do our food, and he called two days ago. He kind of a like, COVID. He's in hospital at the so I have ordered from our outside. So everything is funny, you know, right? <laughs> Okay, introduce yourself because those are maybe your future partner. Co yeah, co-workers. Co-workers or, you know, if you want to go to their country to do your movies, that's your buddy. Is so it my buddy? That's what how he is. Go ahead. So yeah. it's kind of who you are and, you know, what are you doing, stuff like that. Yeah. Like a few minutes, like that. Then For sure. Okay. You'll get my paragraph. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Haskell. I'm going to keep this a little further from my face. Um, I So Imagined is the movie that I am representing here. Um, I am actually the lead actress in it. So the director ended up sending me because she's currently on a different project. So that is why I am here. Um, I, I live in Chicago right now, so I'm from the US. Um, but that's a good time. Um, what other paragraph should I add? Uh, I am actually a professional dancer as well. Um, this is more about me. Then we can say, okay, so there you go. Imagined. Um, Imagined is basically corporation meets imaginary friend. Um, so the imaginary friends actually are in the business. And um, I play a very bad imaginary friend, and she's about to get fired. And the only way that she can restore um, her credibility is by uh, saving one of her failures, who is grown up. So I show up at his door randomly, and it's basically how we grow, both of us grow together after I meet with him again. So that's imagined. Um, yeah, there's my spiel. Anybody else want to know anything else? What I've had about? <laughs> no? Great? Awesome. Keep shining. There we go. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, actually, I really didn't expect this, that I should say something here. My name is Teresa. Uh, I come from Czech Republic, from Prague. And uh, I'm here with a screenplay called uh, Circus Must Go On. Woo! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Thank you. And what's the story about? It's uh, about a little girl called Christinka. She's eight years old. And uh, her grandpa passed away. And she's actually only one. She can see the ghost. And the uh, parents, not all the parents, the others are very anxious, uh, afraid of it. So she had to go to, to the doctor. And she does this. Uh, lady doesn't like children, so you will see what will happen when actually the circus come to the town, and it should be a comedy and also adventure. Yeah. That's, that's it. If you have any questions, you have the advantage, but yes, that's that's it. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. You, I don't need the microphone, do I? Okay. <laughs> I'm Mike Shields II, actor, magician, filmmaker, sometimes all three. That's the short form. Um, in 2014, I won the best screenplay competition, which she is up for this year, uh, with Diamond is a Girl's Best Friend. So if any of you has $1.6 million you don't know what to do with. All right. Uh, that's about it. Um, I could blast, I could talk about being in radio for five and a half years, because I have the voice for it, I also have the face for it. <laughs> and uh, that's about it for now. I'm currently writing several different screenplays and I've signed NDA, so I can't talk about any of them. I hate when that happens. Anyway, thank you for having me on the jury this year. I enjoyed being had, and if your film loses, it's not my fault. <laughs>
Well, this is my boss, Rhonda, <laughs> executive assistant. I'm Sal Muneer. I'm a film producer here in Los Angeles. I've been out here for, what, 20, 22 years? Via Chicago. My Chicago. <laughs> Went to Columbia College for film and television. There you go. Okay. There you go, alumni. Yes. Uh, like I said, I've been out here. I'm a film producer and line producer. This is what I do. Uh, we were just filming at uh, Miss Lynn's house, the Charisma Killers. Ooh. Some hit men and uh, hit men, hit women, hit people, <laughs> if I may. They are, it's a kind of a romantic killer story, if I may. It's pretty interesting, though. You get to really know these killers. But uh, I, I specialize in documentaries. I go out and get the money. You know what producers do. Who knows? <laughs> but line produce, I love doing the numbers. Uh, currently, we're working on our own projects as far as, um, uh, like you said, uh, documentaries. And my, my boss says I have to do more love stories. Those are romantic stories. But uh, again, we, we live out, we just moved out here to Carlsbad. It's really nice by the weather. I have to get out of LA. But anyway, again, Thank you, Ms. Lynn, for having me here. I'll be on the panel tomorrow speaking, uh, speaking about distribution. So that's what I do. Once again, film producer, live producer, and uh, thank you all for having us. Good evening, everyone. And my husband already introduced me, but I am Rhonda Munir. I'm an executive assistant for Kaz Film Studios, and I'm here to support my husband, and we've been working together for some time now. So I enjoy what I do, being with him, and being able to be a part of any film that he is uh, connected with. And we were able to meet Miss Lynn and her husband during uh, the filming of Charisma Killers, <laughs> and they're wonderful people, so we're glad to be here. I am a native San Diegan and raised in LA, but back here in San Diego, time to leave LA. <laughs> Thank you for having us.
and hopefully she'll be able to keep doing it. Uh, the next film she's making is called Metamorphosis, that she'll be doing this uh, spring. So, are you casting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why so or why not? Yeah. <laughs> This next one's going to be another claymation, so it's all going to be little clay characters. Yeah. Two shining stars. But baby yes. voices. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe you turn her off a little bit. Maybe. My mom makes a little girl. You know, so, so, precious. so she's so talented. And uh, last year, you know, uh, last year her her animation in our epic SG, uh, they always, uh, you know, blow up, blow up my mind. And when we see her at the festival, I say, gosh. This is so tiny little pretty girl. Making this animation is so good. Like when this year she has a chip. And you know, she won it in San Diego Film yeah, International Film Festival. There is another one for her epic SH. So for both years she has both movies, you know, by both festivals. Oh my god, it, it, it's 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 marvelous work. At her age, oh my god. I think later on we want to ask her, do you remember me? <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you can see her work at sprinventions.com. Oh, wow, you got you got three films playing at this one festival. I'm, that, that's awesome. <laughs> um, hi everybody, my name is Srija Nair. I'm Originally from Chicago, I went to Columbia College as well. Um, my, fa <laughs> my, uh, my family's from Kerala, which is the uh, southern state of India. And uh, I'm here representing two films. Um, one is a film I acted in called Dog Gone It. It's a pretty hilarious movie where I play a cat <laughs> and I taunt this uh, dog who's like uh, trying to protect his owner from me. Um, and the other film uh, is called Rajasaur, which I produced, wrote, directed, and starred in. Uh, it's the first ever Indian dinosaur movie, which no one has ever done before. And uh, it's already made some, uh, gotten some awards in India, and I'm, I'm very proud of it. It's been a dream project of mine for like several years, and to finally present it at a film festival, especially a film festival for children, is like, wow, thank you, that, that's a dream come true. So, uh, yeah, yeah both, both of my films are screening tomorrow, uh, can't wait to see you all be there. Can't wait um, to judge. Thank you. Next up, center table. <laughs> thank you. I know you are from different you want to separate it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. you, you all take out, that's fine. Yeah. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just a whole different movie. Introduce people. I can stop. Your boyfriend is a filmmaker. You're half a head. Just go. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yes, this is it. So, hello everyone, my name is Perry Delore, uh, and I'm the creative producer, co-writer and editor for a stop-motion animation film called Triskelion. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work, we've worked on it for a couple of years, about seven years, um, where we had like a stop-motion layer, we have a 2D animation layer, a 3D animation on it. Uh, it's been a long and incredible journey to getting that done. And it's actually about, um, it's about uh, Celtic times, Celtic mythology. We go all the way back, eras back, uh, when a tribal chief gets shot in his heart by a rival clan and he dies. And on his deathbed, he asks his own daughter to find peace with that other clan. Which is impossible because she wants revenge and she wants to take up the sword. And that's where the story begins. So, you know, it's playing tomorrow, so for sure, take a look at it. Hi everybody, I'm uh, Kim Rutte, I'm the buddy, hubby, and by, by the smell of it, even becoming hungry. Uh, so, yeah, nice to meet you all. Hello, my name is David Dibble. I have a short documentary here called Rocks for Sale. You have to say it like that because that's how all the kids in the movie say it. And once you say it like that, you can't say it and never win. So it's a 
short documentary about kids in Silverton, Colorado, a former mining town way up in the mountains that sell rocks. They sell it to tourists. There's a steam train that arrives and has hundreds of passengers, and they're all in their little red wagons yelling rocks for sale. And it comes from a mining tradition. They've been doing it for a long time, like the late 40s is when it started. So this, this investigates that, kind of explores that. It's full of cute kids. And I learned about it because I was a conductor on that train. I wanted to do a summer job for fun. And there's these kids selling stuff, so I thought I'd start filming it. So, rocks for sale at 1313 tomorrow. <laughs> And thanks for having the film in this festival. I hope people can watch it. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Fong. I'm very glad to be here with you today. Um, my background is actually finance, uh, equity financing, and uh, I'm lucky to jump into the movie film uh, world uh, five years ago as a co-founder of the production company called Sino Lessony Media in China. And uh, um, in 2018, we brought the um, Hollywood team, directors, editor, and uh, photographer to China shot a movie, uh, Kung Fu Girl. It's an official movie uh, talking about a 12 year old student called Lisa who challenges the school bully. And um, during her journey in a VR world, um, she was able to rebuild her relationship with her father. So, um, and uh, right now we are in the process of the world distribution and also potentially working on an English remake of Kung Fu Girl. Okay, thank you. Yes, hello, my name is Lars Bekal. I'm from Germany and I'm the director and author of a short movie called Memories of a Forgotten Childhood, which I created together with a production company, Mac Media. And I'm very happy that uh, my movie has its world premiere here at this beautiful festival. So uh, thank you very much for inviting us. It's my first time uh, in the United States. It's very exciting for me. I'm looking forward to watching all of these amazing uh, films and movies with you. So thank you very much. Back to the back. Come on forward if you'd like.
Thanks so much. Can I have those center back tables there and this one come up together? Yeah. Anyone from this table want to come up as well? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hi, everyone. Oh, uh, <laughs> my name is Eugene Lobachev. I'm a producer uh, from here, from LA. Uh, I moved to the United States uh, eight years ago from Russia. And, uh, I used to live in Silicon Valley for six years, and uh, like two years ago, I moved to LA and uh, founded an animation studio here. Uh, and our main product is a uh, product project uh, is a Zabizu Ears and Tail. It's animated series for preschool kids. Uh, it's a story about a uh, multiracial girl uh, whose uh, father is a monkey and mother is a bunny. So we already filmed uh, 26 episodes and this month, uh, the late November, it will be widely available on YouTube and some other channels probably. And we already showed this show in some Russian-speaking countries. And in YouTube, we already have like more than 50 million views. So it's, I believe, become popular in other countries. And uh, I believe next year it will be popular here. And we are showing one episode, um, the title of this episode is Vaccine of Bravery. And this is a story about uh, vaccination, about myths of vaccination. And it will be showed uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. So, yeah, thank you. Hey, um, I'm Robert Sofarza. Uh, when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a Renaissance man, and so I had a lot of talents. Um, and I'm good at computer science and computer programming, and that's how I make my money. But to me, art uh, is very special, and I never wanted to ask, to ask anyone how to do something or if it was okay to do my art. So I fund my own projects by working. I'm a computer science uh, professor. Here in California, and by weird chance, um, I ended up in Chicago, um, back to Chicago a year ago. Um, and you know, I had started a, a, a real, uh, a regular film, and uh, this is the one that's here is the second in a trilogy. Um, I haven't filmed the other two ends of it. Um, well, so I was filming, I was about to film a real film a year ago with real actors, and we had Omnicron, and only one actor had been vaccinated. Um, my little rental went up for sale. Uh, I couldn't afford two and a half million dollars. But Cuesta College in San Luis Obispo wanted me to teach online uh, because of COVID for a year and a half through this year. And I was bored, it was South of Big Sur. So I said, I need some energy to finish my film. And I don't know how I'm gonna finish it without actors. So Chicago came, was always in the back of my mind because I like jazz music. And the music that's in my films is with some semi-famous jazz musicians. Um, so there I was in Chicago, and I call it Chicago, because in Chicago you get things done, right? And, but still, I had no actors, and um, I got into computer science 40 years ago to make digital cartoons and music with digital uh, uh, synthesizers. But back then it was too expensive and too slow to do really cool things. So after all these years, it's a lot faster, a lot cheaper, and there I was with a film idea and an urge to do it, to complete it, but not no actors. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to do some animation. And so that was uh, why and how I'm in an animation festival, which is cool. And I will film the first part as a real film next summer um, in Chicago, because it films, which is a beautiful city, and don't pay attention to the news. So the story is kind of semi-autobiographical. It's about a cybersecurity professor from Chicago goes to California to write a film and um, well it's not in the film but you know he wanted to make the film that every 21 year old male wants to make but he's not 21 anymore so he's paused in his mind but who knocks on his door but some crazy California kid with a life that's more bizarre than the one he's afraid to talk about and um, and uh, and this town uh, is based on Cambria, California, and it's a little like the Fahrenheit 451 towns, sort of people, and a little like the village. 
and, um, and I'll leave it at that. But but for me as an artist, and that's what this is about, um, it's uh, the photographs are the artwork, uh, the characters of myself, the music's music's uh, produced over 20 years. So for me, it's my portfolio, and it just so happens to be in this thing. And okay, it really is an honor, last thing, to be uh, a participant in this uh, festival because this is a it's small but it's very unique uh, a lot of people uh, apply uh, send their work in and don't get chosen and um, I'm just so happy to be here uh, hi everyone uh, Alonzo Nunez um, Little Fish comic book studio um, I know I have to say this but uh, I'm not from Chicago <laughs> <laughs> uh, born and raised in San Diego um, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I feel like a stranger in my own town. Um, I run a nonprofit. Uh, we educate kids on comics. We also advocate for comics as an art form uh, in San Diego uh, and in Southern California. Uh, it's really cool to see uh, young filmmakers, young actors here. Uh, and uh, I love seeing these films. Um, it's just really fantastic. I, I always like to say, and I really believe that the hardest type of films to do are those that are all ages and kind of uh, can appeal to to everyone, uh, right? Kids and those uh, that are kids at heart. Uh, so bravo to all of you. Uh, I know how much work goes into film. Uh, you all are slightly mad, <laughs> uh, but uh, this is amazing. Lynn, thank you for inviting me. Uh, thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Valerie Vasquez. I was born in Mexicali, but raised in San Diego as well. I'm only 18 years old. My ma I'm currently in college and my major is criminal justice. But um, some of my hobbies are modeling and working out, even though I have been an actor in several music videos. And I'm currently uh, representing Miss Mexico, as you can see, for Miss Latina Global, which will be held in Redondo Beach on November 19th. And yeah, that's, that's me. I love to stay busy. I'm a substitute teacher and I love working with kids. So that's, that's me. Nice meeting you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Elena Castañeda. Yay! And I've been singing since 27 years about. I've been uh, doing this professionally uh, since I was 20. I started singing in places like um, uh, <laughs> nightclubs, and um, I started with radio station and TV and so much stuff going on. So you can find me on my Facebook, it's Elena Castañeda La Consentida de San Diego. Thank you. Muy bien. Yes, my, my name is David Shonis. Um, I'm actually here to support my wife, so part-time driver, part-time security, manager, <laughs> IT, you name it, you figure it out. So, lived here for almost 24 years, and yes, like many of you, I grew up just outside of Chicago. <laughs> I think of the Columbians, so um, I love San Diego, and yeah, that's kind of a little bit, a little bit about me. All right, well, the food is here, so thank you so much. Um, it's at the back there. Go ahead and help yourselves. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for being part of the open gala of the San Diego International Film Festival Awards. Enjoy. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.